So let's get them going. Once again, this is going to be uh, a rookie team, 21180, uh, which is Air 418. Uh, who so far they uh, got a couple of different mechanisms on there. So uh, if you don't mind, can you just introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit more about your uh, concept, what you're doing for Robot in 30 Hours? Hello, I'm Derek. I'm, do you want me to pass it around? Uh, it's up to you. We'll do that. I'm Jackson. I'm Benji. I'm Lenny. I'm Marouche. I'm Michael. I'm Viet. I'm Advi. I'm Steven. Perfect. That's the keyword, by the way. we got to type in all those names for the next giveaway. So, all right. That, so, uh, first off, rookie team coming in. Uh, like I said, uh, you guys got already a chassis assembled. Looks like a part of a manipulator as well. Tell us what you got so far. So, we have two halves of a robot. They have not been put together yet. We did our original idea uh, just a few hours ago because we realized it was too many moving parts and it was a little too complicated for the 30-hour time frame. So we've gone with something a little simpler here. This is just a four bar and a little server on the end. It'll give us that up and down motion we really, really want for this year's competition. First updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is the top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. If your team is utilizing SOLIDWORKS, make sure you join the 3D Experience EDU student community. Get support from SOLIDWORKS and their engineers and also download robot models, kit of parts, learning content, challenges, and more. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Student Community. So when you're looking at uh, going with this first off, was there any inspiration behind going with uh, the manipulator that you have at all? Like, how'd you come up with that idea? It was a technically a rookie team right but a few of us come from other teams sure and last year we used the four bar system for the uh what was it called fry frenzy thank you and this year we've used a similar design but it's actually it's more advantageous this year than it was last year all right perfect uh when you're uh looking at how do you plan on attaching uh your manipulator onto your robot currently we're gonna move away some of this mess here probably just mount it directly to the frame can we can it we have somebody else uh, actually grab it and kind of show where that's going to go on your robot? <laughs> All right, so that's going to be a lot of weight uh, on your robot as well. Too, have you given any yep. thought into like counter how you're going to counterbalance it or, or center gravity or anything like that at all? So we'll move the electronics to the back most likely. <laughs> we'll move a lot of the electronics to the back, and if that's not enough, we can add some uh, other like trinkets. We do have other small like design features planned so what are some of those other design features looking at doing uh so f just for scoring the other objectives it would be easier to have a secondary pickup mechanism to score these little bumps on the ground instead of using this big nonsense for everything um and when you're looking at the game uh, i noticed that the current chassis system you're using it's a pretty low ground clearance they have on there have you uh tried to drive over uh any of the circuit bumps that all yet we have not done that yet no so it would be like uh so i i don't know if that's going to potentially get stuck or not but uh, would you look at any other plan and then the other thing i'd ask you too is you do have a pretty wide robot in this game uh in many circumstances you can get penalized for descoring. uh do you have any strategy or thought process behind and how you might counteract that as well we considered shrinking the frame we were we are still considering doing that this has not been finalized we will most likely shrink our frame in the future. So you're just going to take a bandsaw, cut it right in half, sort of thing like that, or? Yeah, uh, we'll just replace the two middle bars with something. Re replacing two middle bars? Okay, very cool on that. So uh, you guys coming in, I know a couple of you have a little bit of experience, but uh, tell us about what you've learned so far with Robot in 30 Hours. Uh, how has this experience been, and what have you learned so far through the process? Anyone want to? Uh, I've definitely learned a lot about um, programming from this, um, uh, interfacing with software and hardware is something that I had no clue about before, and I think I've gained a lot from that. No? Uh, so I've also learned a lot about CAD, because I'm the team specialist in CAD, but I'm also not proficient entirely in CAD. Sure. So I've been working a lot in, with CAD, 
And I've definitely learned a lot about using the software that CAD has been using and also like just working faster on things. And looking at uh, the next hours to come here, you asked uh, Grace Scott as well too, like where do you guys want to be in the morning? What's kind of your next steps and objectives to accomplish? So our next big step is pretty obvious. We're going to put that on that. Okay. And then after that, we'll probably do our, our first test. We'll drive it around, see how it balances. We'll see if there's any like major weight issues. And then after that, we'll work on um, probably just fine tuning it. We'll cut the size down. We'll add something in the back to help score on these black things. Very I cool. What they're called? I apologize. Yeah. Well, we look forward to uh, seeing more. Uh, you know about your team. I think it's great to see uh, teams of all different veteran stages come in this right. And we need, having a rookie team provides I think a fresh experience for many who are coming in uh, for something like this as well. So for some of you, this is your second game, right? So your this is your first game. Uh, how are you feeling about power play so far? What are your initial gut reactions to it? It's hard. It's hard? <laughs> All right. Anybody else excited overall, would you say? Terrified? Too terrified to speak? I get it. It makes me think more. Um, uh, yeah, this is my first time, so I don't know. Excited. Don't know what to think yet. That's fair enough on there. Uh, of course, if you've got any questions for any of our teams, make sure you get those in chat. Uh, and by the way, go builder, go home was that keyword. So we're going to draw for that giveaway uh, in just a minute as well, too. Uh, but thanks a lot uh, to uh, Air 418. By the way, I got to ask you, uh, what is the uh, meaning behind Air 418? This was a niche internet reference of an, an Easter egg that the inventors of the internet came up with. Um, you know the typical 404 and page not found? A page you'll get sometimes. Yeah. Um, if you went to a certain web address, it would give you error four one eight. I'm a teapot. Uh, <laughs> okay. So hence, hence the uh, I'm a teapot on your logo, then, huh? Our logo is a teapot. It is a teapot. Fantastic. Well, thanks again to uh, Air 418. We're going to be bringing on our next team uh, in just a little bit. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead. Yeah, great job, guys. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is utilizing SolidWorks, make sure you join the 3D Experience EDU student community. Get support from SolidWorks and their engineers and also download robot models, kit of parts, learning content, challenges, and more. Go to SolidWorks.com first and click on Student Community. Apply the skills you gained as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is a top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. Special thanks to Team 8680, Cracking Pinion, for hosting Robot in 30 Hours and also to their sponsors. 